and welcome back. This is Seasons episode 28. It is, wow, 28. Okay, right. So we are back with the Walnut family, I suppose, and we are camping. You probably noticed why we in Granite Falls. I actually thought that it was autumn time, so that's why I went, but that's fine because this is going to work as well. We can have a bonfire and we can also have a drink and a swim here. I'm going to make it so. BB.enable free build. And then what you do is you just go buildy buildy and you can do what you want, right? So we can barbecue here. We can't. Can we drink here? Maybe. Um. It's okay. We'll put a bar down. Bars. Get ourselves a nice little bar for... You know, some juice. We'll just get a little pop-up one. That's cute. <clears throat> Maybe put that down here at the entrance. That's nice. And what was our other thing? Barbecue, fire, and swim. Well, we can get a pool. I got you. I got you covered, girls and boys. Everyone. So you might recognize this lot. It is, in fact... Um, a lot that we stayed at at my 100 baby challenge. Uh, it's just a generic lot for EA, but I've recently stayed here, so that's fine. I don't know. But I thought it might be fun. It is a special kind of holiday, as you could see. I didn't actually realize that when I booked my holiday, but that's fine. I think that's a good thing, you know? We'll just have a good old time. I don't know. I thought it might be fun to just, um, I don't know. Just kind of hang out with everyone and just kind of, I don't know, just do some fun times and, I don't know, get back to nature. It is the weekend, so maybe they're gone away for the weekend for camping. I have actually had them here for the two days, so maybe we'll see like an autumn transition for some of these trees, although they are pine trees, so they're probably um, evergreen. Yeah, I didn't think of that. Um, <laughs> That's fine. We will go to Selva Dorado eventually. Um, maybe in winter time. Maybe. I don't know. Although this place would probably be nicer in winter. But cold. We don't really want to go to a place when it's cold. I don't know. But it's nice to go in summertime. I think that's a good idea. Are we done with our water fun tradition times? If not, I think we should get a sprinkler. I'm going to get one anyways. You could probably tell because I was already loading in build mode. I'm like, I'm going to get a sprinkler. Sprinkler. Let's get the yellow one. I actually bought bright yellow curtains for my office and I'm so excited. I haven't finished setting them up, but though, <laughs> by the time you see this, I probably have. So that's exciting. Also, forgot to address this in Wolfpack, but um, Australian Daylight Savings starts soon. So... Or probably already started, so you might notice a change in video time if you're in a different time zone to me. I upload at 6 a.m. Australian time. Oh, 6.30. Um, but yeah, you know. Just thought I'd flag that with you guys in case you didn't know that. Um, you probably do now. Because I just told you. Um, <laughs> I'm excited. But you know. I'm learning so much, like, lately. Did you know that there's a state in Australia that doesn't do daylight savings? Oh my goodness, we just fell through the ground. That was weird. Whatever. Play together. Come on, guys. Let's go. Play in the water. I think this will be fun. Oh, look at that. I don't know. I feel like Newton probably would have been like, let's have a romantic getaway. And Nadia's like, dude, you've got a kid. we got to bring him. Like, you know, because I feel like while Newton is a good dad, he's like, he's just not used to being a dad still. And so he's probably just like, yeah, no worries. We can just go out. And she's like, yeah, but what about your kid? He'd like this. And they're like, oh, we got a butler. You know that, right? And she's like, oh, well, let's take your kid. Have we completed our tradition yet? Really? Really? We still haven't done that? Oh, well, let's get a water balloon thing. I just kind of want to get this, like... Um, does that show up? There we go. Let's get a green one. I think we have a blue one at home. 
It annoys me that the rope's blue, but that's fine. I'll get over it. I will get over it. Oh, thank you, Christine. We're going to have a water balloon fight now, guys. This is fun, huh? Then maybe we should, like... Yeah, have a bonfire. That's fun, huh? We can definitely do that. I want to have more holidays with fire. I feel like we should have, like, some, like... I don't know. Because <laughs> I've been looking at other style holidays. And a lot of holidays involve, like, burning stuff. It's like, yeah, you should burn this. For your holiday. Just like start a bonfire, dance naked, you know, that sort of stuff. You're probably like, what holidays are you researching, girl? That's fine. We're not even going to address that. <laughs> we know I'm weird. We know this by now. Why is Nadia not complete? Oh, she has completed water fun. Can you grill? Why can't, I mean, you can't actually do that, but maybe if we make like some, I don't know, we don't want to cook anything super major, or maybe we'll, we will, maybe we'll make, um, shish kebabs. I could go for some shish kebabs. I'm actually making burgers this week. Okay, very nice, very nice. Maybe we'll be able to little count if we, like, make some marshmallows or something. Could you come here and maybe join instead of play with your violin? I think that'd be nice, him and Nadia playing some games. I reckon she wouldn't let him win. We've already discovered this in the basketball match. Also, I love the summer overlay now. Like, it makes the game look so good. <laughs> I love how bright it looks. I don't know if you notice this, but I do, and it looks amazing. Like, guys, this is totally my aesthetic. <gasps> I love summertime. Summer is my aesthetic. Like, I love everything about it. I like the hot weather. I lay, like, the nice flowy dresses. I like the beach, mostly. Um, <laughs> I like looking at it anyways. I like the, um, I don't know, I just... <sighs> I love summertime. It's just amazing. I like, like, getting out of a shower and, like, um, I don't know, just enjoying, like, laying underneath the fan. Like, you know, it's just so good. I just oh, love the summertime. It's a great time. Oh, okay, so that completed her barbecue thing. Okay, that's cool. Very cool. Aw, you guys, this is real cute. Aw, okay. So Newton obviously needs to make some drinks, and then maybe we'll go make some marshmallows. Okay, so... Maybe make some... What's a good... Maybe buffalo wing tea? That'd be a nice thing to have, just some, like, tea. I'm imagining, like, a fruit punch. Because you can have, like, juices that are fruity also look at this this looks amazing do you guys not see how beautiful this looks right now like oh my goodness I'm so glad we came to granite falls like this is amazing I like granite falls at the best of time but it looks awesome right now in summer oh my goodness I'm glad we went in summer I've seen a lot of people going in winter because of the snow and stuff but snow's not my aesthetic so and I feel like everyone's doing it so you know, <laughs> we'll mix it up. We'll go in the summertime. I don't know. I just, I'm a summer babe. I love the summertime. I just oh, love my summertime. Love me some summer. It's my summertime. I just, I love summer. I don't know. It's just really my jam. I love that he's practicing this. That's so cute. Super cute. And you don't have to go to your scout meeting. You are on holidays. And these two have drinks, so... Why don't you two have some drinks? Yeah, there you go. Oh, she's already had one. Oh, she's having two. You know what, girl? That's fine. You do you. You live life to the fullest, my queen. I love that. I think she's living at the... She's living her best life right now. I. She's definitely living her best life. Do, she, do they have to have more than one drink? I think they do. Oh, well. <laughs> Keep on going then, my boy. 
Bottoms up. This is such an Australian holiday right now. Getting smashed. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know, I forget. I'm rated T for teen. I apologize. But that's such an Australian thing to do. Come on, come have your flaming zesty salt. That'll be delicious. I like that Nadia thought about that while she was on the toilet. That was a good time. Um. Ooh, she just walked on him while he was... Oh, she, she just got shocked then! <gasps> I was about to say, ooh, she walked in there while he was in the bath. But no. No, she's like, oh, inappropriate. <gasps> he hasn't met his drink requirement. He must obviously really like his drinks. Um, Why don't you have another one? Why don't you have um, a root beer float? I love, I don't know about root beer floats. I don't think I've had a root beer float. <gasps> she kissed him. That's so cute. Maybe they can get pregnant today. Ooh, you guys. Accidentally pregnant on the camping trip. I think that's a winner. Accidentally. I'm doing air quotes. You can't see them because I don't have a face cam. Accidentally. Oh, yes, please. I think that's a great idea. <laughs> Oh, I'm the worst. But look, imagine how cute their babies will be. Like, they're both so cute. And let's be real. Like, do you see... I want to... I really want to see if Nadia's got stronger genes than Newton. Because Hugo looks just like Newton. Like... <laughs> it's not even funny. Okay, so let's come here. Light the fire. And... We're going to add a log. And then we're going to roast a marshmallow and we're also going to roast a marshmallow and so are you everyone's gonna come have some marshmallows i love roasting marshmallows we roast them on our barbecue because we've got a gas um barbecue so you can kind of like move the plate and like put your thing in there and roast them it's pretty cool you can also roast them on candles did you know I didn't, and I tried that, and I roasted some marshmallows on my candle in my room just by myself. I was like, heck yeah, you know, just chilling. Everyone's like, where'd the rest of those marshmallows go? I'm like, I really don't know. I don't know what you're talking about, but it's my house, and I paid for them, so if I happen to eat them, I, I don't, you know. I'm sorry. I'm the worst to live with, like, the literal worst. Like, I eat everything. No, I don't eat everything, but... I'm like the worst. I'm like, yeah, no. You know, I'm the type of person who would put an empty milk bottle back in the fridge. <laughs> or drink out of a milk bottle without getting a glass. I'm one of those people. So I'd be the worst. I actually had someone ask if they could move in because we recently had my roommate leave. Um, we're like, ooh, yeah, no, no, we don't want anyone else living here. No, thank you. No offense. Um, we're going to watch a kid's movie. I think that's a great idea. Watch a movie together. It'll be fun. This is a cute little holiday. And look, everyone's hit their kind of like things. And I don't know. I feel like this is a good way to spend the day. And maybe tomorrow we'll actually go hiking or do something. But it was a hot day today. You can imagine they traveled ages to get here. I imagine them like traveling in the night. Because that's always what we used to do when we'd go on holidays and stuff. We'd leave really early. So I'd imagine them traveling. They've been just a hot day and they'd just like hang out. They'd probably like stopped into the supermarket on the way here and been like, okay, we got some food, bare essentials, marshmallows, stuff to make barbecue and we're good. And then like, you know, some cereal for breakfast. Like that's all you need guys. <laughs> just like the basic supplies and then get in here and just being like, oh, it's so hot and sticky. We're just going to hang out today. Just get to chill. I'm in love with this aesthetic right now. This summer aesthetic. I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait. I'm so excited, guys. What's your favorite season? Speaking about that, tomorrow marks the day on the calendar where we 
have experienced every season to its fullest in this Let's Play. So, with that in mind, we'll probably, here's what I'm thinking, complete another full rotation and get to autumn again and then call it for the series. We'll see where everyone is up to in their lives. So we might finish earlier or later with that. And that'll probably tie in with around like episode 50-ish. And then I imagine there might be a new like, I don't know, expansion pack. If a new expansion pack comes out before we're like done with seasons, we'll probably do like, okay, now we're the university, let's play. It's not the seasons, let's play anymore. And we'll do a time skip to when um, the kids are like university going age and stuff. Like if it's university. I don't know if it's university. A lot of people are saying it will be. But I feel like we can't know until they tell us. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I have my speculations. But, you know. <laughs> we all have our speculations, right guys? Let's come here and can we like, uh, no, I don't want to roast. I want to like tell a group story about a troll. Yeah, we can tell a spooky story and then we can go to bed. I also appreciate that it's not getting dark till like nine o'clock because I feel like normally this would have been dark. So I'm appreciating that they've done that. No, I don't want to go hang out. Thank you guys. But yeah, so that's kind of what I'm thinking. So if you have any ideas for any other holidays for us to celebrate, so we'll go over the ones we already have. We've got the sunny days. We've got spooky day, harvest fest, um, biggest morning tea, bear everything, New Year's Eve. We've got spring cleaning, Easter, Valentine's. Um, so those are all the kind of holidays. Um, we've just finished summer, so we also had Christmas um, in summertime. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys have any other holiday ideas, let me know and we can like look at that and put them in for the kind of second year run through. So give me ideas, you know, traditions, stuff like that, if you're still interested. And I think it'll be a fun time. And um, yeah, I guess, I don't know. Oh, look at that. Nadia wants to like get to know Hugo. That's so cute. Newton. Newton. Really? Can you get up, please? Oh, Newton, please. What did he want to do? Did he want to? I think he wanted to propose to her, didn't he? I'm going to just put him in this outfit again because that's what he was wearing. Get engaged to Nadia. That's exactly what he wanted to do. Let's do it, guys. I'm going to do it. I'm going to jump in. We're going to do it. Just do it. Live dangerously. Probably going to get copyrighted. Thanks, Nike. Thanks, Nike. <laughs> uh, I'm looking for a nice spot. You know what? I think this is a nice spot. But I'm a little biased because this is where I had Garnet and Isaac, like, start dating, kind of. So, like, you know. Um, we're also going to turn autonomy off for this because I really, oh, she's going to reject him, isn't she? I bet you she will. My Sims always reject each other at the moment. I'm not sure if it's like an issue or what, but I don't know. Um, let's just try to get them both flirty. Um... Reluctantly embrace. I'm having Nadia do this because I feel like she'll be less awkward if it's her doing it. Um, unflirty kiss. Do you think she'd be the one to propose? I reckon she would. I don't know. Oh, guys, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they're not ready for that. But then if I'm ready to, like, make them try for a baby tonight... But we're pretending that's an accident, even though you're both, wa you're all watching me click try for a baby. We're pretending that's an accident, an accidental baby. So I don't know, maybe they'd get engaged, but then I feel like, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Oh, I feel like it's kind of, do you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to go in for propose and hope that if he rejects her, I'm going to be real sad right now. See, this is a bug. This is a bug. I'm 100% sure. 
like 250% sure. It happened in my big sister challenge. They've been 100%, like literally 100% romantic for like forever. I'm so irritated right now. Can we just come here and try for a baby? See, this is what irritates me. Can we not? <sighs> Guys, I should have just had them try for a baby. Now I'm annoyed. I'm sure it's a bug. Like, I'm 100% he would have said yes. But I don't know. Uh, my weddings have been real glitchy. Weddings and engagements. Like, 100%. They've been so glitchy. Like, I've had Sims say no, like, five times in a row. And it's like, what even is this? And then, do you know what happens at my weddings? People dance. Why is this not happening? Can you, oh, you're embarrassed too. Can we like get on this? Oh, he just rejected her. Okay, this is like not going great. We're just gonna go to <laughs> Oh, guys. And that was her unflirty coming in strong. Man, that was embarrassing. You guys, maybe they're just awkward still. I don't know. Maybe they're not ready for a baby just yet. Oh, guys. I don't even know if they get ready to get engaged now. Like, what even? <sighs> maybe that's just not their jam. Maybe they don't want to get married. I don't know. I'm going to wait till I hear you guys opinion on this. So please like let me know. I'm going to try to like refrain from like progressing their relationship any further. We'll maybe focus on some of Hugo's relationships instead because I would like to like develop his friend circle and stuff and maybe age him up into a teenager sometime soon. But I would like your opinions on him and Nadia like what's going on? Do you think maybe she just did that really awkwardly because she's unflirty? Or do you think it's the glitch in my game? <laughs> or do you think um, maybe they don't want to get married? Or do you think that they will want kids? I think they'd want kids. I think they'd want at least a kid. I feel like Nadia would want a daughter. I don't know why. I just feel that vibe. I feel like she'd be a good mom. Um... Or do you feel maybe it's not Nadia's unflirtiness and more of um, <laughs> Newton's kind of playboy carefree attitude? Because I feel like for someone like Nadia, Newton would be a mystery. Like she's a scientist, so she's smart. I would see her as a very um, smart, like independent kind of woman and he's all like yeah no worries we don't need a schedule and she's like we need a schedule we need a planner we need like this this and this and he's like yeah we'll just like get leave like in about 10 minutes maybe and she's like no we need a plan babe and he's like yeah we'll be fine don't worry about it I feel like he's probably maybe a bit too carefree for her so maybe the blame should be on our boy not our not Miss Nadia but um let me know your opinions on that. I've been rambling and I'm analyzing The Sims for about five minutes now. And you've listened to me for that. So I apologize. <laughs> I just get too invested into my Sims lives. I'm like, why did they do that? Like, why? And then it's like, whoa, girl, that's just some code. Just calm down. And I'm like, but why? What are they feeling? What are they feeling, guys? I don't know. I just get a bit too emotionally attached and I love these guys. So I want your opinions and we're going to focus on maybe Hugo's friends. And I quite like the idea of him having a crush on Leaf um, or Leaf being the girl he gave that stuff to because she was green and maybe she was being picked on. So I like that idea. We'll explore that further and try to make him some more friends and hang out with his club a bit more and I don't know talk to them and stuff we'll see how that goes um, maybe hang out with Leaf a bit more which is kind of weird because she lives in the same house as his mum so I don't know but anyways I'm gonna end the episode my dinner's ready and that's about that time and I'm rambling you know the usual um <laughs> but anyways thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time bye bye